Hello, folks. Uh, right now, we're looking at a melanoma tissue section. Um, it's been labeled with one of our seven color panels. Uh, uh, the panel was, uh, it consisted of CD8, Fox P3, CD68, PD1, PDL1, and cytokeratin. And uh, the goal here is to show you um, what you can get with our new whole slide multispectral capability, um, which we're calling Motif. And um, what's so powerful about this new platform is that you can explore samples um, like this, much like you would explore Earth with Google Earth. You can uh, take a very high level view of the whole sample um, and you can see, for example, tumor areas. Um, the cyan color in this case is a cocktail of S100 and SOX10 for melanocytes. Um, and for, at this view, you can see also some red. And the red in this case is labeling PDL, uh, PD1. Um, and you can see right away that there's some nests of tumor cells and then some tumor microenvironment in between some stroma. Um, and then as you start to zoom in, you can start to see um, the cell-to-cell -cell biology. And this is absolutely amazing how much information is in one of these images. Um, so once again, the cyan color is indicating melanocytes. Um, the red color, and you can see a little bit of here and, here and there, that's the uh, PD-1. Um, the magenta, that's a CD68 for macrophages. Um, the yellow are cytotoxic T cells. And the green is PDL1. And there's also FOXP3, um, and that's orange. And if you look carefully, you might be able to find some orange colored nuclei. Um, but what's so amazing is that you can start to appreciate um, how complex the biology is in a tumor, and you can see all the various cell types interacting with one another. Um, for example, um, the magenta indicating CD68s. You'll notice that a lot of these magenta colored cells have green on them, so they're PDL1 positive macrophages. Um, as science and understanding advances, um, it's emerging that the uh, PDL1 expression in the macrophages and the immune cell set is actually maybe even more important than the PDL1 positivity of tumor cells. Um, and, but you can also see um, uh, PD1 positive cells interacting with um, other um, immune cells, such as the cytotoxic T cells. Um, and often what people are interested in understanding is what, what is the actual interaction between the immune cells and the tumor? Um, this is a highly infiltrated tumor. In other words, there are immune cells in and about pretty much all of the tumor cells in this case. Um, so this would be a hot tumor um, with high infiltration. Um, sometimes you'll see samples where inside the tumor area there's really no immune cells, there are just a few. That would be a cold or that would be a immune excluded tumor. Um, and then in cases you, you, you won't find immune cells in the tumor or in the supporting microenvironment, and that would be a cold tumor. Um, but there's all sorts of questions that you might want to ask of this sample. Um, for example, what does it mean to have all of these PD-1 positive cells um, right up against the tumor in this area? Um, what does it mean to have these large areas of PDL1 positive macrophages um, in the tumor. And typically, macrophages are what are called the garbage collectors. Maybe this is an area where um, there once was tumor and now the macrophages are cleaning up. Um, all these things are um, sources of insight and information that um, will hopefully help us identify reliable biomarkers to uh, predict response.